All right, what's up, y'all? It's like Van here. As you see by the title of today's video, we got the top five point guard builds in 2K20 coming at you right here. So, um, number one, we'll get straight into this. I'm gonna go from number one to five just to keep you guys' attention span here. <laughs> um, number one, we got the play sharp basically. So it's the playmaker and sharpshooter pie chart combo. Now, listen, I'm not gonna get hit. I'm not gonna be in here talking to you about like the the titles of builds, calling them what's the best, like the sharpshooting facilitator or the the playmaking slasher or the the two-way sharp for instance like bro those those like titles they're very decept they're very deceptive and they don't really mean much to me so i'm just showing you the pie charts and the best way to build them so like for instance like this one right here the playmaking sharp combo um i'm showing you all the stuff that you should put on so for instance like to me the amount of attributes you lose on post fade um, just isn't worth it. Same with the post moves, as you can see. Like you get so many attributes back for just dropping like two or three badges each. So I would I just went 20 each. And in essence, when you put defensive rebounding up, I don't know why, but defensive rebounding is the key, as you'll see in the rest of this entire video. Um, defensive rebounding is the key to get your defensive badges. As you can see, when I put it into things like block um and try to balance it out like that i get six if i go all the way on d board i get eight um and then obviously i feel like interior defense is a little bit more important than anything else like block or offensive rebound um at this build i would probably go six four um you get the 70 driving dunk which will unlock new packages as well now when you hit 99 you can get like your ratings higher in order to unlock those driving dunks but Let's be real. A lot of you guys that are watching this are probably not going to hit 99 overall. I mean, I would assume that you're not too... I don't know. I'm not saying a lot, like, when I say a lot. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, the, I would I would uh, estimate that a lot of people who are watching this video are probably more casual players just trying to find what build to make and what's the best thing to get you through the game, basically. Um, so anyway, I would copy all that stuff right there if you plan to just be... Um, just a point guard sharpshooter demon basically um and then i'd probably go shot creator takeover just because that's probably the most op one now if we get into what's next on the list this is more for if you're not exactly the most talented player but you think you might play with people who will be also decent as well now actually i shouldn't even say that because in my opinion bro uh, my boy kitchen he uses this build right here it's a three and d uh pie chart the green and yellow uh or the green and red one um Sorry, the green and yellow is the one we were looking at. So the green and red, the three and D. Um, now, again, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to put your post moves to 31. It gets you 11 playmaking badges. Again, this is not going to be like the most lethal, like offensive point guard build there is in the game. Obviously, you get 11 playmaking badges. You're going to have to take a hit here and there. Um, now, obviously, you have the choice of whether to put your post fade up or not. Me, personally, I would say not to just because... In, in listen at the end of the day with this kind of build you could be like truly versus like so versatile you could have like finishing badges you can have playmaking badges you can have defensive badges and the defense is going to be your trademark that's going to be what you're great at as you can see you can get like 21 of them realistically i wouldn't go anything more than that just because at that point you're wasting your ratings on because with this build ratings are at a very premium but as you can see, we upgrade basically everything that's point that has a point to being upgraded. Uh, the thing with this build is you get a lot of ratings that make sense to upgrade. So if you're a point guard, you don't really think you use post fades or post moves. I would say, hey, I mean, uh, also, you're not going to offensive rebound very much. You're not going to need block too much. And obviously, it helps to have a little interior defense, but you're not going to need any standing dunk or post hook. So at the end of the day with this build, you upgrade every single thing that would really be needed for you as like rating wise. And it does get pretty decent badges as well so you're gonna see um i kind of test out just you know how to be able to drop some things um at the end of the day interior defense doesn't give you much i'll put it like that so a lot of what this build comes down to is your own decisions as far as these little extra extra useless like ratings if you will um now you see i'm just tweaking with the the finishing ones a little bit just to show you like what exactly you can can't get with them um end of the day i would just go with what you think is best for you but like i said to to touch post move very much or standing dunk or post hook just to like capitalize on getting like one set of badges not the best move so as you can see we get like eight oh, hang on let me let me go back and see what it was it was eight 16 12 and 18 i feel like that's pretty good if you feel like finishing badges don't mean much to you then go for it just 
take it all the way down, I guess. Just get your driving dunk, get your packages, and capitalize on your playmaking and shooting and defensive badges. Um, so I would probably go 6'4 with this build, minimum wingspan. Um, now, again, like I said, it's not exactly the most offensive, like lethally offensive build. However, you're going to be able to run point guard pretty consistently if you're decent at the game. If you're good at it, then this is like still a very manageable build. Um, you're going to be able to run point guard very decently. You're going to have great defense, so you're going to be able to run point guard and guard ball. And at the end of the day, I don't know. It's just this is a very good like it's a very good build to to kind of manage yourself on. Like for instance, you could take it to 2v2 and if you had a really slow big man who can't help you on screens, boom, this is a build for you. Uh, if you have a really mobile big man who can who can, I mean, it's still the best of both worlds. You can still run point guard and guard ball, but long story short, I feel like that build will become the meta. That's all I can say, bro. I feel like that build will become the go-to build and people are just sleeping on it because at the end of the day, bro, it looks like this is going to be a game where point guards have to guard point guards. And if you can have Hall of Fame pickpocket and, and like pick dodger and all that and clamps, I don't know, bro. I feel like it's going to be pretty lethal. Anyway, number three, we have the pure sharp. So this is a tough decision for me. Number three through five. Um, so actually, yeah, I'm not going to give it away completely. So it, let me just say it was a tough decision though to figure it out. But long story short, like I said, I mean, you save yourself a lot of ratings if you like kind of skip out on getting one like one of these last things as the as far as the shooting goes. I feel like as a pure sharp, you might actually want some post fade. So I figured you might want to just keep that. But if you're making this, I would say do whatever you think pleases you the most between free throw and post fade. If you think you're gonna be on pro am and, and rec and stuff like that, definitely go with free throw, obviously. But if you're going straight park, I don't know. Post fade, it's not even that big a difference. It's not that big a deal. But I feel like you'd probably want post fade. Then again, you're gonna go with the 32 for the post the post moves just to get the uh, the ideal playmaking badges. So then I see I, then I see you could get a finishing badge. So I'm thinking like, okay, well, what if we just kind of make this a little less like a lesser defensive build basically in order to get some finishing badges and boom as you can see we can get around like we can get around like four a decent amount i feel like that's i feel like that's a good enough a good enough amount and anyway you see like as i say interior defense would be nice to have but at the end of the day it's just too hard to manage so you see i i see if you can get so basically there right there is the ratings you're gonna want so you can take a little take a little mental note of that real quick but um Anyway, I would say, yeah, as far as pure sharp build, this is definitely the way to go. And I do stand to it. I think this is my third best, like third best point guard build in my eyes. Again, I feel like ball handling is not really going to be the end of the world in this game. However, I would go probably, if you want to be a ball handler with the pure sharp, I'll go 6'2". Um, listen, when you hit, when you hit 99, you're going to have 88 speed, right? And then when you hit, um, when you get the treadmill boost as well, that means you're going to have 92 speed. And then that also means when you hit 99, you're going to have 84 ball control. Now, listen, you're going to be, able to, you're going to be a speed boosting sharp, essentially. That's going to be, it's going to be cake. You're going to be a speed, a speed boosting sharp. You could probably do it. Matter of fact, if you have floor general, um, you could probably do it if you just get the treadmill boosts and uh, you don't even have to have 99. So just try to make sure there's a floor general on, on the court for you. Um, if you don't understand what that means. And anyway, you see, you could go minimum wingspan and get 82 ball control. This is all decisions that you guys can make, but I just went with the wingspan that is the longest as possible that doesn't take down your uh, three point. So you could go either that or just the one that doesn't take your ball control either. But anyway, you see, I go with this one. Um, and I would say, and then I kind of sample and I'll just show you guys just for discussion of the video. I'll show you six five just because you don't lose too much speed and low key. I feel like, let me think about it too. Cause if you have 80, I mean, you have 88 speed. And then if you went minimum wingspan to supplement it and wanted to go shorter, um, what you could do, you would have, let's see, you would have 78 ball control. So that means at 99 with this build, essentially, you would have 82 ball control with 84 speed. Not quite enough, but with the treadmill, I think that would be just enough to speed boost, bro. <laughs> like just enough. Um, you'd have 88 speed with 80, 82 ball control. Yeah. Um, so I don't know, maybe at the end of the day, you just get some floor general on the court get like a playmaking stretch or a playmaking defender in the corner and boom you can speed boost as a 6-5 pure sharp <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty crazy if you ask me but anyway um like i said the wingspan's all up to you you figure it out on your own because this is a very uh it's a very decision based 
thing that you would decide on here. And again, if you think you're more of a, I don't know, the shot creator seems like definitely more of like what you would think you would want to do with sharp takeover. I've seen firsthand a lot of people use it, but again, decisions, decisions. This is all up to you. Um, let's head on to number four. Now, this number four build at 99, bro, is probably the most like just crazy build in the game <laughs> this is what i want to make for my point guard build if i do make one but i think what i'm going to end up doing is just making like a point forward anyway but with what i now know in this game about hitting 99 overall um now i my performance and like grade on this build uh all these builds is based on not hitting 99 however so i'm gonna keep that completely unbiased but while we're talking about it i just kind of want to get this get this um get this like noted that Bro, if you do hit 99 with this build, you're going to be able to get contact dunks. You see it gets 82, 82 driving dunk right there. I think if you raise the height a little bit, like one inch or so or two, it gets 83 driving dunk. Um, either way, the fact that you can get plus four to your ratings, you can get the driving dunk high enough to get contact dunks. And then you'll also, as you see, 82 ball control, you'll be able to get enough ball control to get um, all the... Uh, the, the extra dribble packages you get 86 ball control as well and when you reach 86 ball control you can momentum <laughs> you can momentum with that too bro so this build at 99 will in my opinion be the most overpowered point guard build in the game like undoubtedly i mean you're gonna be able to get contact dunks with hall of fame contact finisher you're, you're gonna be able to speed boost while still shooting like limitless threes so long story short this build will be literally like it's i'm pretty sure it's called a three level score and as you can see you even get solid defense with like eight defensive badges too so 16 21 13 and 8 are the badge is like the final badge verdict and like i said you're gonna be able to get contact dunks boom on people you're gonna be like short and fast enough to like speed boost with uh with no takeover needed at all um so anyway long story short i'd probably go either six four anywhere from like six three to six five but six four seems like the pretty like good height in my opinion also because you get that driving dunk boost as well so now if you go minimum wingspan boom like i said you're gonna be able to get to the uh as you can see you have you have 83 on ball control and and driving dunk so like i said when you hit 99 or 98 or whatever it may be you're gonna be able to <laughs> it's just crazy bro it's so crazy but regardless um this build is still solid as far as like without 99 and like i said with the speed boosting as long as you get that treadmill boost you will be able to speed boost with this player. It will have 90 speed. You'll have 83 ball control um, with 83 three-pointer still and 83 driving dunk. Anyway, long story short, look at how balanced this is. 83 driving dunk, 83 three-pointer, 83 ball handling. Simple as that. And then, um, as I said, like you can get the physical attribute upgrades through the, the Gatorade facility. I might even make a video on that Gatorade facility too. I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on that. Um, but I don't know. It might be like more of a filler video. Anyway, just pick whatever takeover you want. Shot creator is like to just be a complete demon. Like you would be like unstoppable with this shot creator takeover if you become good enough at it. But whatever you whatever you decide is more for you, I suppose I would say go with that. Um, just because I don't know, like slash takeover could be utilized properly if you have if you're someone who likes to use it like that. But and then same with sharp too. But I would say shot creator just in general probably the best. Now, as far as number five on my list and the most speedy of them all. This build is like unreal with the speed, but what it comes down to is you got to be able to finish good or you got to be able to shoot good or do both. If you can do everything and honestly what this build comes down to is like stick skill. This is what pure playmakers always come down to. So you're going to see we only get 75 three pointer, 80 mid range though. So keep that in mind as well. Um, and the shooting badges don't go very high either. So with this one, I decided you probably want to go with like max shooting badges just to literally get everything. You're going to want all 15 of those that you can get. Um, just take your free throw down by one because you don't need it. Uh, but anyway, long story short too with this, obviously you're going to want to have some defense too. So I did the same thing. Take the post moves to like 61 just to get that one extra badge that doesn't cost you many attribute points. And then, I mean, you're still working with 11, 15, 28, and what around like six i think yeah again you see the interior defense it doesn't give you much badge points um that's up to you it's it's all up to personal preference and you're gonna see i put it in the block and then put the rest into defensive rebound if you'd rather have block and just lose one one defensive badge i suppose you could do that as well if defensive badges don't matter to that to you very much and you just want the interior d go for it but at the end of the day bro 
just to, to upgrade your badges, it might as well be defensive rebounds. That's just, <laughs> that's just how it works in this game. So anyway, you get 11, 15, 28, and 7. So with this build, I think 6'5 is probably the move. If you want to go 6'6 six, six and go a little like lower on the weight and uh, a little lower on the wingspan, you could. But at the end of the day, bro, with this build at 99, you're going to have 84 driving dunk, 99 ball control, 99 speed, 99 excel. Um, it's just going to be unguardable as long as you are able to do things under your own user control. And it still will be. It's not like this relies on hitting 99 by any means. This is like a crazy build to have regardless. But um, with this, I'd probably go default wingspan. Because at the end of the day, you're not benefiting anything as far as like ball handling, really. I don't know. It's That's why it's a tough decision because you obviously want as much three-pointer as you can. But I don't know if just three-pointer is worth your wingspan and your defense as well. Um... But anyway, I would probably go with Playmaker Takeover for this one just because at the end of the day, you are a pure playmaker. If you want to be like truly unguardable and just you have the true capabilities and it just comes down to your skill, maybe Shot Creator Takeover is for you. <laughs> that might be kind of that might be kind of crazy, but um, just from a broad standpoint, I would probably say Playmaker Takeover. But anyway, that's all for the vid. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, if you made it to the end of the video, feel free to drop a like, sub if you're new, all that good stuff. We got this. We got this. Find your love instrumental on the outro this, this is like perfect but um anyway if you enjoyed the vid feel free to drop a like sub if you're new all that good stuff if you made it to the end of the video and you're already subscribed feel free to turn feel free to turn on the notifications none of that hope you guys enjoyed take these man peace